No matter what cake you make, it's the perfection. Even if it's a simple one. The cake is the main attraction of the event. I'm a psychology major back from India and always loved art, uh, was always crafty. And I did an interior designing course. I really like doing that. But I had this big sweet tooth. I liked baking and I chose this as my medium now. It's not just a cake at the end, it's more than. I get to bring in a lot of art into it. India is a place with, uh, in a country with a lot of colors and flavors and the colors and the different flavors, it's so intense. And they say, since I'm from there, I know how to bring in all those colors and, you know, some of their tradition and things into the cake. I really like to work with colors. The world is very colorful and, you know, you can do a lot of things in it, it's not like, it's not limited, it just can add in more details and you know, it never goes wrong. Most of the cakes takes a lot of time, especially when I work with figurines and all. I'm a perfectionist, so if I don't like how it turned out, I redo it, like sometimes two times, three times. I've never thought I am, I'll do this, you know, what I'm doing right now. But I always wanted art in it because I was considering more this as an art form. Each time getting better and each one is a challenge. It's like first time when I start with a new project. Where can you see exhibits of turtles, snakes and lizards and acres of native plants all for free? The San Marcos Nature Center. Operated by the City of San Marcos, the Nature Center offers visitors a chance to see some of the native plants and animals of the Texas Hill Country. The Nature Center welcomes and depends upon volunteers to improve and conserve the trails and gardens of the wildscape. Volunteers help build and maintain the Butterfly House, which is home to nine native species of butterflies. The Nature Center focuses on giving its visitors an enjoyable educational experience while stressing the importance of preserving the ecology of the Texas Hill Country. The Nature Center is located just off I-35 at 430 Riverside Drive and is open Monday through Saturday. Call 512-393-8447 to learn more. The San Marcos Nature Center. What's in your backyard? Traffic backs up on Ocarina Springs Drive, even more so now that a new overpass is being built. But having long lines of waiting cars is nothing new at Lolita's Cafe. Owner Marta Carrillo says she's used to seeing heavy traffic as customers anticipate her breakfast tacos. Every, everybody in town gets breakfast tacos, most of them. Breakfast tacos are a Tex-Mex creation that Central Texans have enjoyed for many years. Breakfast tacos include ingredients such as eggs, bacon, and potatoes. Restaurants allow customers to customize their taco with as many ingredients as they want. Their tortillas are amazing, along with the bacon and cheese. I just love it. It's a good combination. Breakfast tacos can be found at drive throughs gas stations, and fast food chains, and they bring in a lot of money from hungry students. Breakfast tacos are in demand 24 hours a day in San Marcos. Cheapish, and there are a lot of good breakfast food whenever you're hungover and flash when you're drunk. Whenever I come here, whenever I'm drunk and everyone's come off the square too, they're stacked like pretty much out the door, people wanting tacos. <laughs> With so many taco restaurants in town, students have a difficult time choosing a favorite. It's a good tie between, there's that food truck over there, El Taco Feliz 2, 
they have in this place, next time. I love Chepos because I love their bacon. It's always super crispy, and I hate when people give me bacon that's very flimsy. And their hot sauce is also amazing. It's so good. It makes the tacos ten times better. Like many businesses in town, Marta says her business declines over the summer when students are gone. She estimates 60% of her customers are college students and credits some for her cafe success. For Bobcat Update, I'm Ricardo Vargas. Bobcat fans are still celebrating victory at Strahan Coliseum Monday evening. The men's basketball team began their season with an 84-49 win against UT Tyler. The Bobcats have seven returning players on the team, along with seven new ones. Monday's game was never in doubt. The Bobcats were quick to build a strong lead in the first half and carried it through the second. The men's basketball team will be on the road this Saturday to play against UT El Paso. Fans can follow the game on Twitter or by listening to KTSW. Texas State students are having to find a new place to study. Many popular study areas in the library have been closed for renovation. Many of the private study rooms are now off limits as the workers update the electrical infrastructure of the library. Officials say the project is moving ahead of schedule. The renovation project is expected to be completed by mid-November. The end of the semester is near, and while most students are getting ready for finals, soon-to-be graduates have additional preparations to consider. The Texas State Bookstore is equipped with all the necessities required for graduation. They can go to the apparel desk and ask them if they also are getting their rings, that's where they would go. And uh, they go to the back and where it says the graduation sign and they can try on their gowns. I looked it up online first to see how much it was going to be and I made sure that they sold them here because I didn't know that for first. And I just showed up, I parked at LBJ and um, just walked in, asked the girl where they were, and it was like in a nice little package. Those who are graduating can place their orders online at the Texas State Bookstore website. It's just go to Texas State Bookstore's website, find your master's or your bachelor's, whatever you're looking for, press order, click, come pick it up. The bookstore offers online orders through November 25th. I actually um, know some people that um, haven't even ordered anything yet and they're just waiting up until like you can get your cap and gown up till like the end of November so like they let it be to where it's later but I want to take pictures. Texas State this fall will have commencement ceremonies on December 11th and 12th. For Bobcat Update, I'm Claire Gross. The Fighting Stallion sculpture located on the west end of the quad has been a part of the Texas State landscape for 64 years. The university received the stallions as a gift from South Carolina sculptor Anna Hyatt Huntington in 1951. The stallions are considered one of the free speech zones on campus. It's where students and organizations can express their political and religious views. Speaking is only one means of expression that one is apt to see at the stallions. Some people also perform songs or dance routines. <laughs> 